بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, my son will now uh, discuss uh, the other concept which is the concept of magnetic force on a current wire okay uh, I advise you to go back to the concepts and look at that video again before you start solving uh, the other point I want to discuss with you is that this example that I'm solving for you are not enough for you to uh, grab the concepts and understand uh, uh, deeply the, these concepts you have to Use your textbook, solve problems, uh, uh, end of chapter problems, practice all the exams. It's important to be able to uh, uh, practice a lot of uh, problems uh, in physics uh, because understanding the concept is one thing, problem solving is another thing. So if they are complementary. If you, if you understand the concepts and you don't solve problems, you will, you will, you have, you will have pro uh, trouble in the, in the exam uh, because you did not practice. So it's important to practice. I'm just giving you uh, hints here how to tackle problems uh, related to this concept, but then you have to go and solve your own, uh, uh, use your own uh, method to solve the problems, okay? It says a long wire, see this wire here in the shape, in this shape here, carrying a current of 6 ampere. Uh, you see these two lines, they are parallel, and then there's this part here. And it, the current is returning, as you can see here, to right angle. He's trying to describe the figure here. Uh, the part of the wire where the band occurs is in the magnetic field. See this here? So here, there's a magnetic field. No magnetic field here, okay? Magnetic field is, is only in this portion here, and it is outside. You can see it, it's point. A dot means it's outside, coming out of the, uh, the board here, okay? And this is the magnitude of magnetic field. That's 0.7 Tesla. So confined to a circular region of diameter, the diameter here is 75 centimeters. What is the net magnetic force on the wire? So we're looking for magnetic force on the current wire. So there's a current here. Huh? If there was no current in the wire, there would be no force. It's only when you put a current in the wire that you get the force. And that force, I want to remind you, that force, that force there is given for the current wire is I, is I the current, sorry, the current, not the unit vector here, I the current, L cross B. That's the, that's the force, okay? In magnitude, it will be I, L, B, sine of the angle between the direction of I and B. So, this is I, and this is B is out, okay? Magnitude, okay? Of course, direction of the force, you have to use the direction, you have to use the right-hand rule, okay? For the right direction, use right hand Okay, rule. All right. Now, let me uh, draw that figure quickly a little bit here. So these are the only portion where, uh, uh, where there is the outside here, there's no magnetic field, okay? So uh, the, 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 the portion of, the, of this uh, wire uh, which is going to uh, be affected by the magnetic field will be this por a small portion here, okay? So, uh, and the current is in this direction, okay? I, the current. And this distance here, here, is 45 centimeter. Okay? That's the length of this wire here. Now, let's look at the directions now. Please, my son, use the right-hand rule, and the magnetic field is outside, okay? It's coming out. B is out. Can you tell me what, what is the direction of the force on this wire here, which is this part here, okay? Only this part. Can you give me the direction of the magnetic force? You have to use that right-hand rule, okay? It's a cross product. Your fingers are with the current, and the magnetic field is coming out. You see, you do like this. I cross B. So the force here will be down. F. B. And let's look at the, on this wire here. It's I cross B. So the force is what? It's upward. F. B. And this force, and this force, and this force are is exactly equal. Because the length is the same, the same length, same length, same B, and same current. So these two forces they cancel each other. The two forces are opposite in direction. You can see them? And they are acting on this uh, wire here, this part, and this part. So they cancel these two forces. So I don't, I'm not going to enter, put them into account, because they cancel out, okay? Now let's look at the force on this wire here. This, this vertical wire, which is coming, where the current is coming down, okay? So I 
cross B, B is outside, so my force, the, this thumb will give it the direction of the force. I cross B, so the force is to the left. So there will be a force here, F, B, but there's no, it, it will not be cancelled by nothing, okay? It will not be cancelled, that force. So the only force I, I, which is important, the magnetic force, which is important, will be this force here. So that force, FB, will be I, L, B only. Uh, the angle between, between I and B is actually 90 degrees. So sine of 90 will give me 1. So it will be I, L, B. So let's put the numbers now. The current is given by 6 ampere, okay? Times. The length is 45, so, so 0.45 in meters, okay? And the magnetic field is 0.7 Tesla. You see how simple it is when you understand what you are doing. The answer will be 1.89, 1.89 Newton. Okay, this is, the di this is just the magnitude of the force. And its direction is to the left, okay? Direction to the left. Okay, so that's the answer for this uh, 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 problem. You can see, I'm going to repeat again, this part of the wire and this part of the wire, the forces are opposite, so, and they cancel each other. This part of the wire, there's no force on it because there's no magnetic field, even though there's a current and there's no magnetic field. To have a magnetic fo force, you need a current and you need a, a magnetic field, okay? This is actually F, you can write here FB to... Uh, to distinguish it from Fe, which is electric force, this magnetic force, okay? So, uh, this wire and this wire, the magnetic force cancel each other, and the, uh, the only wire which has a magnetic force will be this wire here, and the force is to the left, using the right-hand rule, and this is its magnitude here, you can see it, 1.89 Newton. So, this wire actually is going to move to the left due to this force here, okay? I just want uh, to uh, discuss this issue with you that in this example, uh, you are giving the diameter of this, uh, the region where the magnetic field uh, exists, and 75 centimeters. When we solved the problems, we didn't use this uh, information here, because it is not, uh, uh, it will not appear in any, of, in any of the equations that we have used. Thank you. Okay, let's look at this second example related to the magnetic force on the current wire. It says uh, a one meter long wire lying along the x-axis carries a current of two ampere in the positive x-direction. Uh, the wire is in a uniform magnetic field given by this minus 4i plus 3j. This is the unit vectors. So the magnetic field is in the xy plane. T, t Tesla, this is the units. What is the magnetic force on the wire? Okay. For that, I think we should draw a figure. Uh, this time I'm going to do it like this, X, Y, and Z, okay? See, X, Y, Z, it's, you can write it like this, you can put here X, Y, Z, it doesn't matter, okay? As long as you follow the X, Y, Z, like, okay? So X, Y, Z. Now my wire is in the X, uh, my wire is lying in the X axis, okay? It has a length of 2 meters, okay? Or oh, 1 meter, sorry. And the current in this wire is in the uh, is in the positive x direction. Okay, so this is the current I, and the magnetic field is in the x y plane. It has negative four I uh, and negative three J. So you, if you want to draw the magnetic field, you can draw it like this. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's, it's in the x y plane. Okay. Like this, it has x, comp sorry, its x component is negative and its y component is negative. So it has, uh, the x is negative and y is negative, so it has to be somewhere like this, for example, okay? So that's, that's the magnetic field that we are using here, okay? So be, be careful, eh? the z-axis is coming out of the board, eh? and the b is in the x-y plane. That's in the xy plane. It has uh, its x component is negative and its y component is negative. You see the minus sign here? So it means that x and y for b are negative, and this is the current, and that's the length is one meter long. Okay? We want the magnetic force. So the force, the magnetic force that we have seen in the previous example, is I a current L cross B. Okay? So let's uh, let's do this. Uh, L cross B, okay? L is along, 
L, 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 and vector L has the same direction as the, as the current I, okay? So it will be one, one meter. So let's look at this L cross B, okay? L cross B. So L cross B will be one I, like this. You put I because it is a, it, it's along the positive X axis. Cross uh, B. B is along. It has minus for I and plus, minus plus 3J like this, okay? Minus for I plus 3J. There's a minus sign here, okay? And then remember now that I, J, K, the I, J, K, and you have I cross I will give you zero. We have seen that in the previous video. And I cross J, I cross J will give you plus K, okay, plus K, but there's a minus sign here. So it will be minus uh, 3K like this. That's the cross product L cross B. And then you multiply by the current. The current is what? It's 2 ampere. So uh, now the, my force in this case will be uh, 2, the 2 here, 2 ampere, times the minus 3K. So it will be minus 6K a Newton like this. Uh, because you have to put the SI units for the force. Okay? So that's the, the answer for this question here. Okay? You notice uh, something important that, as we said, uh, always the, this force is perpendicular to the plane formed by these two vectors. Now, these two vectors are in the xy plane, and the force is along the positive or negative z, uh, z okay, which is my plus or minus k. In this case, it turned out to be minus k, so my force is inside. Now, you can use the right-hand rule if you want. Uh, you do i cross b. You see? I cross B, it gives you, it gives you a minus. You see, you see, it's inside. The thumb is going inside. So that's the minus sign here. Minus 6K. So the magnitude of the force is 6 Newton. The direction is the negative Z axis. Okay? So that's, uh, that's the answer to this problem here. You want the magnet, magnetic force. Uh, what is the magnetic force on the wire? It didn't specify here whether it, you want the magnitude or di direction. So the magnitude, if you want to write, if you ask about the magnitude of the force, which will be FB will be 6 Newton. Okay? That's the magnitude. Direction will be, direction will be uh, negative, negative Z axis. Negative Z axis. Okay? That's the negative Z axis, which, is, which indicates the minus K here. Okay? All right. Thank you. This is a third example on uh, the topic magnetic force on a wire carrying current. Uh, the problem says a straight horizontal length of copper wire of mass uh, M equals 50 grams and length 1 meter lies in a uniform magnetic field of magnitude 0.5 Tesla. Its direction is out of the page. Okay, so the magnetic field is out of the page. Uh, we can draw it this way. Magnetic field is out, okay? And we have this straight horizontal wire. So the wire is sitting like this. And all of this region is covered with this uniform magnetic, uh, magnetic field. What is the magnitude and direction of the current in the wire to balance the gravitational uh, force on the wire? So this is the wire. It is one meter uh, long, and it, there are Two forces acting on it, in fact. One force is the gravitational force, which is directed downward, okay? So I have Fg is in this direction, and it has a magnitude Mg. And we want this force to be balanced by the magnetic force, okay? Due to the presence of this magnetic field and the current which is passing through this, uh, this wire, okay? So Fb magnetic, so this is Fb, will be in this direction, okay, upward, to be in balance with the gravitational force, okay? We need to use the right-hand rule to uh, know where or what the direction of the current should be, okay? If the current is moving this way, okay, if it is moving this way, cross B will give us gravitational force downward. Uh, magnetic force downward. So magnetic force will be downward if the current is moving to the right, okay? And we know the gravitational force is also downward, so they cannot balance each other if they are in the same direction. So the current cannot be uh, moving to the right. Current 
should be moving to the left, okay? Why it should be moving to the left? Because the magnetic field is coming out as we agreed, it is given in the problem. So I use the right hand rule. So this will be I cross B will give me the required magnetic force which is upward, okay? So we are done with the direction of the, uh, of the current. We want to know how much is that current. So uh, from the statement of the problem, we need to balance the gravitational force with the magnetic force that, so they have the same magnitude. So Fb in magnitude will be equal to Fg in magnitude, okay? I am not worried about direction now. I have decided about the direction of the current, which will be to the left, to give me magnetic force vertically upward to balance the gravitational force, which is vertically downward, okay? So the magnitude here is mg. The magnitude there is what? What is Fb? We know that Fb, Fb, the magnetic force on a wire carrying current is uh, I uh, L cross L cross B, okay? So the magnitude of this Fb magnitude will be I L B, magnitude of L, magnitude of B, uh, sine the angle between L and B. Where, what is the angle between uh, L and B? From the statement of the problem, the length is horizontal and the magnetic field is coming out of the base. So what is the angle between these two vectors? This is 90 degrees, okay? So sine 90, this will give, me, will give me one and I am left with I L B, okay? So this will be I L I L B. Uh, he's asking about how much is the current. So the current, we can write it as mg divided by the length multiplied by, by b. Now just to plug in the, the numbers, uh, the mass is 50 grams, so 10 to the minus 3, to convert it to kilogram SI units, multiplied by 9.8 meter per second square. Length is 1 meter, multiplied by b, which is 0.5. 0.5 Tesla. As a result, we will get the current uh, to be 0 0.98, 0 0.98 amperes. So this is the uh, magnitude of the current and it should be to the left. The current should be passing uh, to the left in order to get the magnetic force upward to cancel the magnetic, the gravitational force which is, which is downward. Thank you.